There is no spoon. Think of the toy industry. What are the first thoughts that come to mind? Maybe thoughts of happiness or nostalgia, of playing pretend in the backyard. But what else does the toy industry do when marketing to children? Well, in fact, they are a major contributor to the concept of gender segregation. Gender segregation, by definition, is the separating of the male and female gender. But as a societal concept, this can mean that each gender is defined by being different from one another. But don't boys and girls naturally separate by gender? I mean, in elementary, we all thought the other had cooties or something. But is that real? Because I'm sure cooties weren't. Let's take it back to the toy industry and how they create a rift between genders. It's pretty obvious that most toys are marketed with either a feminine appeal or a masculine appeal, and are clearly marketed to only one demographic. Unfortunately, as children we are bombarded with images of what these companies say is masculine and what is feminine. These images influence vulnerable minds by telling them who they should aspire to be and how they should act according to their gender. And when you take into account that the toy industry's main goal is profit, they may resort to using gender stereotypes in their advertising. These stereotypes can harbor untrue assumptions about masculine traits and feminine traits that are far from the truth. These stereotypical, unintentional messages can be quite dangerous for youth as they introduce meaningless concepts that may affect their quality of life. To girls, this advertising presents a false image of beauty and household duties is the norm. And boys are constantly associated with acts of violence and conquest. These stereotypes are inaccurate and only lower and confuse our identities and create insecurities that prevent us from finding our true selves. But do these messages really affect us? I believe they do. For example, as a child, many boys can be interested in cooking, but they refuse to buy an Easy Bake Oven as it is portrayed as a feminine product. They then go on to believing that cooking is associated with the female gender. This is untrue, as there are incredibly strong male role models in the culinary field, such as Gordon Ramsay. So if these messages are so plentiful, and they really do affect our youth, what are the impacts on the future? Over time, these gender stereotypes, combined with the over-sexualization of media during the teen years, can lead to a conflict between genders, resulting in domestic violence or worse. If all these consequences originate from trusted brands such as Mattel and Hasbro, who are just trying to sell toys, how do we filter out all the inaccuracies? To start, we can look at the big picture, and remove the prejudice of individual genders and start to look at us all as simply human then we can begin to treat each other with equal respect and dignity.